is the first day of hurricane season. The last five hurricane seasons have been near or above normal. That trend looks to continue as the National Hurricane Center is already tracking the potential for a named system this week. News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith says even with the increased activity, there is a way to know what we can expect as we go through this upcoming season. The month of June is here, which means it's officially the start of the 2022 hurricane season. We're actually already tracking a couple of systems that could develop into named systems over the coming days. The first off the Yucatan Peninsula, you can see all this storm activity starting to rotate a little bit as well. And the National Hurricane Center has already put a high chance of development along with this system. A low end chance of a system right off the Bahamas. But regardless, this is actually pretty on par for this time of the year. Notice how we're seeing these systems move towards the east and northeast. And looking back at the history of hurricanes in the Atlantic Basin, that's what we expect. In the month of June, we see systems starting in the Western Caribbean and they move towards the north and east up the Atlantic coast. As you get a little bit later on in the season, though, we start to see waters warming as we go into the warmer months. And that means we start to see a shift in where our storms develop. As you get towards August, September, and October, that's when things really start to ramp up. We see most of our hurricanes and most of our strong hurricanes during this period of the year. Getting into October, we start to see that activity at least wane off a little bit. And going into November, cold fronts moving through the United States, as well as some cooler water temperatures really starts to put an end to any tropical activity that we expect for a normal hurricane season. Here in South Carolina, when do we expect most of our storms? That would be in August and September. That's where we've seen 10 landfalls in our history of tropical systems here in the Palmetto State. And of course, looking forward into the 2022 tropical season, NOAA is predicting once again an above average year with 14 to 21 named storms, 6 to 10 hurricanes, and 3 to 6 potential major hurricanes. Of course, as any of this changes, we're going to let you know right here on News 19. From the studio, I'm meteorologist Corey Smith. Well, we've been sharing tips and safety advice all week in honor of South Carolina's Hurricane Preparedness Week. Today's topic is getting insurance checkups. Experts say checking in with your insurance agency before hurricane season starts is important. And to also keep in mind that flood insurance must be obtained separately. You should prepare your home and vehicles according to your policy, as well as know where your insurance documents are so you can easily take them with you if you ever have to evacuate. Right now, there are two potential systems being closely monitored, one in the Gulf and the other in the Atlantic. So let's check in with Chief